Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add links to the images in your website. And we'll also add some hover effects. So when we hover over this image, we can see that we have the text displayed over here. So when we click on this image, we'll be taken to the Our Services page. In the same way, we have the hover effect for the other images as well. And this is also responsive. So if I decrease the width of the screen, we can see that now we have two images in a row. And if I decrease the width of the screen even more, we have just one image in a row. So this is what we're going to design in this video using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called image links and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have a folder called images over here and in that we have the three images which we're going to use in our design. So let's start by creating an HTML file. So here I'll just create a new file and I'll just name it index.html. And we'll also need to have a CSS file. So I'll just create a new file and I'll just call it style.css. All right, let's start with the index.html file. And in VS Code, you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. And I'll just type style.css over here in the href. All right, let's start by creating a container division. So let's create a division with the class of image links container. Now in this we need to have the images, but we need to have the images as links. So we have to create an anchor tag. So let's create an anchor tag over here. And for the href, you can just type the link of the page. For now, I'm just going to type hash. So if you're using this link for the about page, then you can just add the link of your about page over here in place of this hash. All right now here in the anchor tag, I'll just create an IMG tag. And in the SRC, I'll just type images. And we have three images over here. I'll just select the first image. And then we also need to have this uh, text over here. So for the text, I'll just create an S3. So here I'll just type S3. And the first text we need to have is our services. So I'll just type our services over here. And this is the first link. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it two more times. You can add any number of images that you want over here. And for the second link, I'll just type 2.jpg. And for the third one, I'll just type 3.jpg. Because we have these images inside this images folder. All right, for the second text, we need to have source code. So here, I'll just type source code. And for the third one, we need to have our team. You can go ahead and change the images and the text to whatever you want. And just add the link of the page over here. So in this case, we can just add the link of the Our Teams page over here in place of this hash. All right, that's it with the HTML. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. And once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see that the HTML is displayed over here. All right now let's style this using CSS. So let's go back to our VS Code and let's go to style.css. And the first thing we will do is style the image links container. So I'll just type dot image links container. And uh, let's set a max width of 900 pixels. And uh, we will bring it to the center. So I'll just type margin zero. Or let's type 32 pixels for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And uh, let's go back to our Chrome. And we can see that we still have a lot of width for the images. So let's style the images. So here I'll just type image links container IMG and let's set the width of the images to 100%. And now we can see we have 100% width for the image. And we'll also set the object fit to cover so that the image has the correct aspect ratio. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to have three images in a row. So here for the image links container, let's make it a display of grid. And let's type grid template columns. And uh, we will have three columns over here. So I'll just have one FR, one FR and one FR. So this will divide the image links container into three different equal parts. And we'll also have a gap of eight pixels in between all the images. So let's go back to Chrome. And here we can see we have these three images displayed over here. And we'll also set the height of the images to 100%. So here I'll just type 100%. And now we can see everything looks all right. Right, now let's style these headings. 
So the headings are also inside the anchor tag. So that's how we can see we have these underlines over here. So here just type image links container A for the anchor tag and let's set text decoration to none. And now we can see we don't have the underlines. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to position these headings over here at the top. So for that we have to set the position of the anchor tags to relative so that these headings will be positioned relative to these anchor tags. So here for the anchor tag, I'll just type position and let's set it to relative. And now let's target the S3, which is the heading. So here I'll just type image links container S3 and let's set the position to absolute. And we'll set the top position to zero. And now we can see that the headings are at the top. We'll also remove the margins. So I'll just type margin zero. And let's add a background color and we'll set the background color to dark gray and let's set the color of the text to white and we'll also change the font to Roboto. So I'll just have font family, Roboto and sans serif. And let's set the width to 100%. So I'll just have width 100% and we'll also text align it to the center. So I'll just have text align center. And let's set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll also add some padding so I'll just have padding and let's set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and now we can see when we add the padding the heading has a higher width than expected so for that we have to add a line of code called box sizing and set it to border box and now we can see we have the correct width all right now the next thing we need to do is add the hover effect so let's go back and uh, let's type image links container a colon hover and here we'll just type s3 so when we hover over the anchor tag we need to add the hover effect to the s3 so when we have the hover effect i'll just set the font size to 24 pixels and i'll also set the padding to 32 pixels top and bottom and left and right and let's set the top position to 50% so that it is in the center. And when we add the top position to 50%, it will start from the center. So we have to move it 50% of itself to the top. So let's type transform, translate Y, negative 50%. And let's set the background color to white and color of the text to dark gray. And we'll also add a box shadow so i'll just have box shadow and we'll add the values as 0 4 pixels 40 pixels negative 2 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 and we'll also have a smooth transition between the hover effects so i'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds is all right now let's go back to our chrome and let's hover over these images and here we can see we have the horror effect working all right so everything is looking all right right now let's add responsiveness so when we have a width of less than 800 pixels we will have just two images displayed in a row so let's decrease the width a little bit and uh, here i'll just add a media query so let's tap at media and let's type max width of 800 pixels so when the width is less than 800 pixels i just set the grid template columns to 1fr 1fr so let's type image links container grid template columns 1fr 1fr and now we can see we just have two images in a row now we'll also add one more media query for smartphones so let me just decrease the width a little bit more and let's add one more media query over here and let's type max width of 600 pixels so when the width of the screen is less than 600 pixels all the styles that we have over here inside this block will be added to our design so let's type image links container grid template columns 1fr so now this will have just one image in a row and we'll also add a max width and let's set the max width to 400 pixels Right now let's go back to chrome and uh, now we can see we just have one image in a row when we are on a smartphone version and then we have two images in a row over here and then in the desktop version we have three images in a row so that's basically how you create images with links
All right, that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.